Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. This is officially wishing you all a happy new year. This is my very first video of this new year and I am really glad and thankful to God that we all went to celebrate our holidays, we all had fun and we turned back to base. We are back to base and we are starting our new year with great news. I have come bearing good news guys. So if you're just meeting me for the very first time, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Chisong and this is Mrs. Lepa series. In this channel, all I do is to bring you information, information that will help you with your travel abroad, study abroad dreams. If that sounds like your cup of tea, you do want to consider subscribing and being part of this community. You're going to love it here. So guys, I come bearing good news. This news is coming from Germany. Germany is introducing a new visa pathway. They call it the chance and card or the opportunity card. You know that normally now for you to be able to relocate to any country apart from us green card that allows you to come to the us even without a job offer you're not coming to study you don't have a job you can just come to the um, us even though that one is like a lottery system now for you to be able to relocate to any country at all you must be going as a skilled worker that is you must have a job or you are going to study or maybe you have family there family reunion marriage and all that Germany is beating us at it. Like Germany is bringing up this particular pathway that is amazing. What necessitated this is that according to them, they have shortage, real drastic shortage of skilled workers. So they are trying to open up their doors to attract immigrants, you know, highly skilled immigrants from non-EU countries. For you to be able to qualify for this route, you must be a native of a non-EU country, that is a non-European country. I'm talking to my brothers in Africa, my brothers in Asia and every other continent that is not Europe. That is the basic, number one basic requirement, be from a non-EU country. And of course, you have to show all the um, eligibility criteria, which I will be sharing with you guys in this video. But before we go on, what is this opportunity card system really? Now, this opportunity card system is like an expansion of their skilled immigration system you know the skilled worker or skilled immigration system as the case may be that allows you get a job you know before you can be able to migrate to a country just like uk where you must get a job that has cos that will now sponsor you for you to be able to come to the uk as a skilled worker that is if you're not using the other routes that are there or maybe in um, canada where you have to get a job that gives you that work permit now this opportunity card system that germany is about to open is going to allow you come to germany without a job without a job offer guys this visa is a one-year visa that allows you to migrate to germany without a job offer but for the main purpose of going to look for a job locally it will give you one year uh, resident permit you come to the country look for a job locally and when you are successful at getting a job you now switch to another visa route that will now gear you towards your german citizenship guys they are going to be opening this chancing card pathway in june 2024 june this year you can go with your spouse you may be able to go with your children depending on your circumstance that is it is not automatically that you are allowed to go with your family with your spouse and everybody you may be able to go with your children if for example you applied to go with your spouse there is no way you leave your children behind yeah so if you are applying to go with your spouse you may be able to go with your children this opportunity card system is like the game changer a lot of people are actually skilled but you know the technicality of finding a job from the abroad is just what's keeping them it's just what's restricting them now this system allows you to be able to come into germany even without a job offer now when you come the idea is that once you come you are coming for the purpose of looking for a job now once you get this job you can now be able to switch to a skilled immigration pathway that will now allow you to stay back in Germany and then further gear towards your German um, citizenship and all that. The eligibility criteria is still there. They are using a point-based system just like Canada PR that uses a point scoring, a point-based system to score you, to you know be able to know how eligible are you. They are using a point-based system and you must score at least six points for you to be eligible to use this pathway to migrate. Now, one of the main criteria is that you must be a graduate, you must have a university degree, or you have at least two years vocational training in your field be a university graduate or have at least two years vocational training in your field depending on the requirements in your home country secondly you must be from a non-eu 
country that is if you are in europe you cannot be able to apply or to use this pathway and of course thirdly you have to prove your language eligibility either you can speak german or you can speak english language to a certain level with this opportunity card system your resident permit is limited to only 12 months the focus of your stay is to search for a suitable job and if you search is successful if you successfully get a job you now have the option of changing to another resident title if you find a job in germany with the opportunity card you can most likely extend your stay yes, okay you can apply for this opportunity at the competent mission abroad in your country of origin and you must meet the basic eligibility requirement which is like i said vocational training at least two years vocational training or a university degree and the good thing is that the university degree you don't need to assess your university degree unlike in canada where you have to use the um credential evaluation body west and the rest of them to evaluate your degree to bring it or to show it up to this particular canadian standard in this case you don't need to evaluate your degree so in addition to that you must be able to show that you can speak german or english to a certain level and then you have the financial means of course to support yourself because while you are coming you, you don't have a job so you can either show this by showing your bank statement that you have i think about eleven thousand euros for one person depending on if you are coming with your partner or your children eleven thousand euros for you for your partner i don't know if the price for children is just about the same just like i said you have to do your own research is either you show your bank statement that you have this amount or you already have a part-time job you know part-time job will surface unlike um the other immigration pathways even for other countries for you to be able to you know be eligible for a certificate of sponsorship just like in the case of uk you must have a full-time job contract signed with a uk employer now in germany too for you to be able to use their skilled immigration pathway you must show that you have a contract signed with a full-time with an employer for a full-time position but for this opportunity card system you can either come without a job or luckily for you if you have gotten a part-time job from a german employer you can use this part-time job contract to prove that you have that financial security so you don't need to show your bank statement okay i hope you guys understand it don't forget that the proof of fund for germany in the different other countries for you to show your proof of fund you present your bank statement like for example if you're coming to the uk or you're going to canada for you to show your proof of fund you have enough financial capacity to take care of yourself you are going to be presenting your nigerian bank account statement but for germany for you to show your proof of funds you have to open an account in a german bank and lock it down they used to lock it lock down their proof of fund whether for study visa for skilled worker visa of any type of visa you're going to be taking you need to lock it down in a german bank so what that means is that you have this money but it's not in a nigerian bank it's in a german bank an account you're going to be opening and it is locked down so when you come into the country you are not just going to go to the bank and ask them to give you all your money but you have to be taking a particular amount every month out of that money that is how the approval fund works okay they are still working on the website they still have a website where you are going to be finding some of these part-time jobs just in case you actually don't have this money in your account you actually think it's more favorable for you to get a part-time job so that you can use this job to prove your financial security before applying for your visa they are working on the website it's gonna be up very soon but while at it if you have your own money and you feel that I don't need a job to be able to go I have my savings and I can be able to prove my financial capacity you are just good either ways it's not a must you are getting a job getting a job is just beneficial to those who don't have the money to show financial security if you have the money to show your financial security you don't need a job for you to be able to get this visa guys this is the sweetest news i have heard so far like from all the heartbreaks we've been getting here and there from immigration changes in immigration policies all around the world uk canada australia and germany are opening up their borders actually guys this is a win-win for everybody the pathway is going to be launched in june officially from now to june gather your documents if you know you are a graduate you don't have your degree result you don't have your transcripts perhaps they might ask for transcripts i don't know please go and get it now and then register for your IELTS if you don't have IELTS. I used to tell you people that although there are some certain pathways to some certain countries that actually can allow you to go without IELTS, but why would you want to limit yourself? Why would you just want to fold your hands and be waiting for opportunities you can use that will allow you to travel without IELTS? Why not, you know, boost your chances? Why not get ready, get prepared? Because opportunities come and nobody knows. Like this opportunity now, they said 
they do not have any time limit they do not have any limited slots it is unlimited it is based on their own discretion they can decide to give as many as they want for as long as they want but however they stated it there however that if the pressure is too much like if the demand is so much on them they get a lot of applications they might be forced to cut it down to a certain mm. the advantages of this opportunity card you come from a non-eu country and would like to work in germany take advantage of this opportunity card germany which gives you a one-year resident permit to look for a job you do not need a permanent employment contract you can easily apply for the opportunity card via the points system and convert your points now with our points calculator so at the point based system you can be able to check your eligibility to you know now proceed with your application and all that guys this is the bomb this is their six points and it's being a graduate being able to prove your english language ability having um financial capacity to take care of yourself you know having experience being having worked in in a particular profession for so so number of years you you, you are going to be scoring up that six at least that six it's quite easy for you to get this is it guys this is the opportunity you have been waiting for a lot of people really want to leave where they are to these countries but the problem is which employer is going to give you a certificate of sponsorship which employer is going to give you a job which employer is going to find you all the way from Europe to Africa the recruit you pick you from the pool of application and give you this opportunity now Germany is bringing to your doorstep a golden opportunity that actually allows you to migrate without having a job migrate and then while you're in the country you can look for these jobs locally within the country so let's look at the frequently asked questions you know some of the frequently asked questions you will do more of your research and find out every other information you want to find now they said what is the opportunity card i've told you all about it what are the advantages of the opportunity card we've also seen that how can i apply for the opportunity card you can apply for the opportunity card at the relevant german mission abroad in your country of origin for example at the german embassy or german consulate if you are already in germany simply submit the application to the relevant local foreigners registration office so if you're already in germany maybe student visa or anything and then you want to take advantage of this opportunity you can also partake it's not just for people who are from outside germany okay which language test can i use so um you can see there apart from the german language how to prove your german language for those who can speak german english test test of english as a foreign language um, you can use it TOEFL or IELTS international english language testing system or cambridge certificate so people who say you can come without your IELTS it is actually not true you have to prove your english ability with a secured english language testing system okay. can i study in germany with the opportunity card the opportunity card allows you to work in germany but not to take up studies so it's only for you to come and study to for you to come and work and not to take up studies so you are not allowed to study in germany with the opportunity card so guys that is just all about it with a lot of other frequently asked questions that are there when you go to the website you actually sit down take your time and study properly a lot of your questions a lot of the questions that are bugging your mind right now must have been answered there you take your time and study it properly and then use the opportunity card calculator to check your point and check your eligibility and if you are eligible you just go and start gathering your documents start gathering yourself put yourself together and wait for june 1st when they will start receiving application and for those of you who don't have um, a suitable means of proving their financial capability you also subscribe to their newsletter you saw where they said that if you are looking for such opportunity to get a part-time job that will enable you to be able to prove that you have financial security you should subscribe to their newsletter because they are going to be launching a website that will be designated to give employers opportunity to advertise this job for the purpose of this mission so if you subscribe to their newsletter by the time this website is up and running you should be notified and then you go there and look for employment opportunities it doesn't even matter according to what they said employment part-time employment in as much as bakery warehouse anything at all as long as it's a job and you have a contract with these people part-time full-time whatever it is at least you have a contract with these people it's a job that will be paying you you should be able to use it to prove that yes you have the financial capacity and not to be a liability to them not to come there and be looking for public funds or funds that are meant for their citizens and all that you should be able to take care of yourself and all that so guys please take advantage of this opportunity like except you want this sugar you want to be spoon fed you want them to just carry it and be putting it into your mouth this is like the best opportunity i have seen so far in my research of 
you know opportunities that will enable you migrate abroad this is the best i have seen so far do not miss this opportunity if you are really serious about it until my next video if you've watched up to this extent and you have not subscribed please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be a part of this community i'll be catching up with you guys in my next video and until then you do love yourself do take care of yourself and <laughs> Nigeria has said that it is Kuchiri this time around. Kuchiri, don't give up. Don't agree for anybody. <laughs> Whatever it is, just stay positive and take care of yourself, okay? Mm -hmm.